Good morning, dolls, and welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. Thank you for all those who are returning, and welcome to everyone that's new. So today we're going to be doing bricks and stones. Now this is a technique I used on the outside of the rooming house doll house, and I also want to show you how they use the same technique for just regular bricks. All right, I'm using simple cardboard, and the material I'm using to make the bricks is packing material. Many people refer to it as egg carton, but more or less because of the texture. Um, you can find it in almost anything that's fragile in packing boxes. Um, also a very common place to find it is in carry out containers for soft drinks. These are some remnants from some coffee carriers uh, I had, but it's very easy to find and it's really great for this particular um, project. Okay, so I'm doing my project just on a simple piece of cardboard and I'm just going to spread my glue out. Um, I use just the regular uh, Gorilla Wood glue, but any type of glue would work. I like the Gorilla Wood glue because it's kind of thick. It's a little bit heavier and it's thick enough that it'll start to absorb into the material, which makes um, contouring it to the surface a lot easier. Now, I use a little less glue when I'm doing the brick portion than I do for the stones, and you'll see why in a little while. And again, like I said, I'm just using the regular uh, Gorilla Wood glue. And after I've gotten it on the cardboard, I just spread it out a little bit because I don't really want to get it on the surface of my bricks. If you do, it, it's not a problem, but I just prefer not to in this instance. So I just spread it, and that's just a glue spreader just spread it out nice and even there okay and I had my bricks pre-cut now my bricks are very um, irregular I will say that I cut them but you definitely can do them more even hey you could even measure them so they'll all be a uniform size but i didn't i just eyeballed it but i more or less want you to see the texture um that this particular material provides that's the key thing in this example is the texture that it looks like brick as far as texture wise but you definitely can make your bricks more uniform and just lay it down, press it in, and as it absorbs the glue, you'll be able to press it down and embed it even more. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for the brick portion. Uh, the rest of this, I'm going to go ahead with the stones. Okay, so give that a moment to dry, and we're just going to go ahead and flip it. But look at that texture, though. Just, I just really want you to see the texture in this material because to me that really looks like brick okay so let's go ahead and get the stones on now my irregular bricks I I cut them but when it comes to the stone part I just tear them so I'm just laying the glue down and you'll see now I'm putting quite a bit more glue down for the stones than I did for the brick because I want the bricks the stones to be a little bit more embedded so I put a heavier coat of the glue down for when I do the stones see that and just you know it's just a heavier heavier coat and again you'll see why in a little while okay and I lay them down I again I tore the shapes for the stones and just kind of fit them together sort of like puzzle pieces so just continue to take your time and work and fit them in just based on your desired look now by now you should be able to see that your stones are beginning to absorb the glue so now you can start to contour your stones into the surface of your uh, base and see how I'm just pressing the, around the edges? That's so that your stones don't flip up because you want them to be flat and flush against your surface so that when you get, begin to put your uh, grout or joint compound on, 
the grout or joint compound won't go under the stone. So you definitely want to press it into the glue now and smooth it and contour it. And it's just going to help with the realism and the adhesion of your stones. So I know everything is looking really pre-K right about now, but trust the process. It's going to get better. And just keep smoothing and working it and just look at it. I really love the texture of that. I really love the way it looks. To me, that looks like stone. Okay, so now we're going to begin to add color to the stones. We're using more of a neutral uh, palette for this portion of it. And I'm going to use neutrals for the brick and for the stone. And when I say neutral, in comparison to that original colorful template that I showed you at the beginning, uh, like I did the Roman house, Dow house, and then the orangish brick. I'm going neutral for this that I'm doing on screen. Okay, so just begin to apply your color. Um, if there's a part of this process you really want to take your time, it would be in the coloring of your stones. Because as you go along, your base colors are going to be, um, kind of going to give the, the tone or mood to the type of brick or stone that you're doing so i'm just doing um multiple layers of washes in the neutral tones the golds the grays um, the browns and don't worry about it looking bright because after you seal it and you put the the joint compound or the grout in all of the brightness of the colors is really going to tone down a lot so don't worry about that at all and if you want to kind of change it a little bit after it gets sealed or toned in you will be able to do that okay so don't don't worry about that in this uh, portion of the process it's still looking a little pre-k I get it but doesn't that look like stone I think it looks like stone I definitely um, do now if you wanted to do your stones in all one even um, color you definitely could do that or if you were trying to do like just solid painted brick this will work for this that as well um, I have a tendency to like things that look a little bit distressed or weathered so that's why I kind of go with the multi-layer look because I like things to look a little bit dimensional so I'm just laying down just layers of color and just keep building it until you get it to your desired shape. Now, if you're enjoying this video today, definitely let me know in the comments below. Also, like, subscribe, and share. And hit that notification bell so you'll know when I'm uploading more videos like this. And also with regard to the series on the Rooming House Dial House. So we're finish up, finishing up the last little bit of the shading and coloring of the bricks. And yeah, I like that texture. I like the way those stones look. That looks really, really great. I'm very pleased with that. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and seal it. I use the matte Mod Podge. And when I say seal it, I'm just going to put like a real even coat uh, over all the bricks and over all the stones and by sealing it you preserve the color seal in the um, the colors and the shading that we've put in so that when we get, begin to put the grout or the joint compound on it you won't um, lose that color because the joint compound is really going to stick to the surface and this kind of protects it so that when you begin to wipe the joint compound off it kind of creates like a film or a seal so it'll be easy uh, to wipe it off without it just embedding to the texture of your stone and your brick so yeah it's white it's really white it looks kind of pasty but no worries on that when it dries it's going to dry absolutely clear now I use the mat but you definitely could use like a satin if you like um, you know on this uh, particular project but make sure you get it on the surface of all the stones and around the edges so it'll be easy to wipe the joint compound off and again just take your time don't make it too thick or too heavy because you want it to dry pretty evenly so you don't want to have to wait for two different parts to dry so just yeah just kind of put it on even 
Okay, so now the whole thing is coated. You see, everything's all coated. I just love that. That looks like stone to me. All right, now I've got my gloves on and I'm going to get ready to get into the fun part. Now, you definitely can do this with your hands, but I, I, I put the gloves on that kind of protects it. It makes it a little bit uh, less messy when you clean up. So you just want to just press it and embed it into the spaces around the stones. And just keep on just, just pressing it in. And press it in. Now, if you have a large area to do, uh, I would say you want to do this this part of the process a little at a time because the joint compound will begin to dry. And if you uh, don't get it off soon enough, you won't be able to get it off without uh, distressing or disturbing the surface of the stone, if not destroying them. So definitely um, do this portion of the process a little at a time. Okay, so just gently... Press it into all the, the creases, all the spaces in between the, the bricks and the rock. After you've got it covered, just completely, just make sure it's in all the spaces. Just look at everything really good. Just check it out really close. Make sure you have used some tiles nearby. And then immediately begin to wipe it off and you're wiping it off of the surface of the stones so you're going to have to wipe it a few times because it's not going to come off right away so you might want to wipe it with a more dry cloth at first to get the large amounts of the excess joint compound off you know just keep wiping just keep going over it you know it's not going to come off right away so you're going to have to keep wiping and you probably have to do multiple um, passes uh, to get it off to reveal uh, your stone and your brick. But you can see now it's not looking so pre so um, pre K now. So just keep wiping. Just keep wiping. Now after you've gone on over it a few times with um, a dry cloth. I suggest that you begin to go over the individual stones with a, um, a moist cloth to reveal more of the stone and see how I'm just individually kind of wiping each one. And that's where I said like uh, maybe um, some cheap baby wipes will come in handy because you begin to reveal more of the color of the stone and a lot of the texture. Just kind of gently buff them off. Now, if you prefer, you know, after doing this um, buffing process, you definitely can go over the stones and even highlight more and um, brighten up some of the colors if you like. But that's why I mentioned that whatever color you put down is going to be really muted after you do the joint compound because it really takes it on. But I like that. It looks kind of like slate almost. Now, the grout is really bright and my, my grout is really, really crooked, but forgive me for that. But I just really want you to see that texture in those stones and in the, in the, the brick. The texture is what we're really, really looking for. So now at this point, I kind of went over it a little bit with some chalk, like chalk pastel just to kind of give it you know just to hit the highlights um this same effect can be achieved um dry brushing like with acrylic paint you definitely can dry brush it but just to kind of highlight the stones and so this is this is more or less the the final look for um the neutral template this is the the final look for that but yeah just hitting it with the highs and the lows of the the chalk pastel just so you can see what's possible. This is a very, very versatile material. Um, it's a very easy process. You definitely can stain that grout with 
um, a, acrylic paint, but I just want you to kind of look side by side. One of them is the one I did with the colored stones and the other one I did with the more neutral stones, but you can get such varied um, appearances, same material, but just the way you paint it and shade it, you can get so many different looks. Now, if you've enjoyed this video today, definitely let me know, like, subscribe, comment, and make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll know when I'm uploading new videos here on Little Gretchen's Workshop, especially regarding the Rooming House Dow House. I sure did enjoy preparing this video for you today, and I've got lots more to come. So make sure you stay tuned so you'll know what's coming up next. Looking forward to seeing you again on Little Gretchen's Workshop. Bye-bye, dolls.